Hey Kylie, this is Chris Doyle at Alderman Chevrolet Buick GMC in Rutland, Vermont, Vermont's favorite car dealership. Thank you for your request for information on this 2020 Chevrolet Silverado RST. This is the double cab. You don't see a whole lot of those out there. Very, very hard to find. Seems like most of the trucks being built over the past three, four years are crew cabs. But the double cab is going to give you a slightly smaller back seat, a slightly bigger bed in the back. Overall, about the same length as the crew cab, but perfect for folks that uh, aren't going to have a whole lot of people sitting in the back seat all the time, but want or need that extra space in the back. This is the RST. The RST was new in 2019. It's a nicely equipped version of the truck. Um, basically tends to be kind of the top of the line version with the cloth seats. More or less, there's some variety there too, but it ends up being a nicely equipped truck. This is with the 5.3 liter engine. This was a one owner leased vehicle. Lease ended, we snapped it up. Uh, really nice shape. Overall, this is in the satin steel metallic. We've got the nice uh, fog lamps in the front. Tires, you know, I don't know if the tires are brand new or just look like it. Uh, I think they're brand new. Those are Kelly's. Those are the really nice edge all-terrain tires. So my guess is, again, either brand new or very, very close to it. Tires are expensive, so it's one thing you're not gonna have to worry about kind of down the road. This is a Car Bravo, Car Bravo certified vehicle, which means that whatever remains of the warranty on it, add six months, 6,000 miles to the bumper to bumper. Uh, so that's a nice way of purchasing a vehicle uh, to make sure something that is a lease, that's one owner, has extra warranty on it, um, and again, is in this kind of condition. Very, very clean. Tires look great rims look great. The places that can take a pounding on the truck have not on this. Uh, everything looks to be in very, very good shape. I'm going to open up the back here. As I mentioned, this is the double cab. So you're looking at slightly smaller area than you would in the crew cab. These will fold up and down. Down if you don't have anybody here and you want to have better visibility looking out the rear window. Or up if you've got somebody sitting in here, as I'm about to. So I'm going to slide inside so you can get a good view of what's going on in the dash up front. You do have, on a day like today, it's kind of nice because it's a little warm out here. We've got the air conditioning vents in the back, as well as the USB-A and C ports and the 12 volt port for the folks that are back here. Very comfortable. Good amount of room and double cabs always have been. Um, let's get a closer view up front so you can see what's going on. As I mentioned, this is the RST package. So going to be pretty nicely equipped. We've got the Bose sound system inside the truck. You've got your power seats up front and on the key fob, of course, you're going to have your remote start and your ability to drop that tailgate right from the key fob. Two speed transfer case two-wheel, all-wheel, and four-wheel high and low, easily adjustable from here. Fog lights and, of course, our automatic high, uh, uh, headlights for the truck. Taking a look over here, we do have, again, good on a day like today, you've got the dual-zone automatic climate control. We do have our heated seats. We've got our, right here, that's our, our crawl mode, basically, our hill descent control uh, to go along with the off-road package in the vehicle. The ability to drop those, uh, the tailgate in the back. You do have the heavy-duty trailering package with the trailer brake controller. Trailer brake controller does not come standard when you have the trailering package, but this does have it. And we have the power outlet here, control for not only your USB ports and your 12 volt port, but a 120 watt, 120 volt outlet here too. Heated steering wheel as well. We are gonna need it eventually, folks. Mileage on here, 41,570 at the time that I am making this. And then audio, AM, FM, satellite, little, little Jonas Brothers for those of you who are into them. Um, we've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And of course, I put it in reverse. You got your nice big uh, clear backup screen with a couple of different views, either kind of the standard view when you're driving, so you see the outside track of the car. The line points directly at the hitch in the back, which we're going to go take a look at in just a minute. Or my favorite, the overhead view is if you're kind of peering over the tailgate in the back. So that really is helpful if you're backing up to it because there's the hitch and you can see exactly where you're going there too. I'm going to put it back in the park and we're going to go take a look at what's going on in the way back, as it were. As I mentioned, because this is the double cab, this is the standard box 
Uh, most of the trucks out there, the crew cab, have the short box, the standard box. Used to be about six and a half feet long. It's actually a little longer than about six, nine, six, ten, something like that, too. Nice little RST badging there. And of course, heavy duty trailering package. We've got our hitch and we've got the two exhausts in the back. Gonna drop this. This is the very, very light. <laughs> There's just nothing to it. Um, easy lift and drop tailgate in the back. Plenty of room. These Dura beds, that's what they call it now since the truck was redesigned in 2019. There's a lot of room. Wider than ever before, deeper than ever before. You can have up to 500 pounds of weight on each corner on those hooks. And you can see the little tabs kind of moving up here on either side and in the front. Those are all removable. You can actually buy extra hooks in case you need them. Um, just very, very convenient. Boy, I didn't even mention that you've got that power sliding rear window there in the back too. Pretty lightly used, obviously. Not everybody beats up a truck. Again, it's the kind of thing that we tend to like. It's one of the reasons why we buy trucks like this rather than returning them to GM Financial, in this case, the leasing company. Again, very good condition. I do believe those are new tires and rims look good. Just very clean, well cared for and the kind of thing that we like to have here because it is that Z71 package. It's why you had that hill descent control inside, beefier suspension up front, Rancho monotube shocks in the back, and a lot of extra protection, extra skid plating. And let's be honest, not everybody who gets a truck, even a Z71, is gonna go bouncing around in the woods. They're not necessarily gonna go off road, but a lot of the roads around here are kind of like being <laughs> off the road. So it's just having that extra protection really really nice to have so there you go it there is the chevrolet silverado this is the rst double cab if you'd like to learn more about this particular truck if you're watching this video on facebook you can click on the learn more button if you're watching it on youtube you can click on the link in the comments below or better yet just come see it in person we're at 65 windcrest road in rutland vermont just off route 7 south hope to see you soon